Hey guys, I hope you all are doing good. In today's video, I'm going to talk about what are the roles and responsibility of a BIM coordinator. I've been working as a BIM coordinator from past one year, more than one year. So yes, I just want to share my experience and a lot of you have asked me also about what are the roles and responsibility of a BIM coordinator. So here I am making this video. This video will be a really interesting video for all of you. So guys, without any delays, let's get started with the video. So guys, one of the primary responsibility of a BIM coordinator is to maintain the BIM standards. So all the companies, wherever you will go, they will have their own specific standards, own specific line style, own specific families that they use everywhere, their file naming conventions. So basically, this is the most primary thing and most basic thing that you will be doing is maintaining all these so that none of the project is named XYZ if it was supposed to be named as ABC. So these are the things that you have to maintain. And a lot of time people just import some kind of random families which have a lot of bloatware and a lot of line styles that are not supposed to be there in our projects. So you will be doing that. You will be clearing up all these uh, bloatware that are there in the project files. So this is one of the primary responsibility. Next responsibility, which is more major responsibility is to maintain BIM projects. So you will be responsible for creating BIM projects like the central file, linking all the files together. You will be managing all the levels and all those things. Plus you will be maintaining the families or the drafting views or the pre-made set that is supposed to be loaded on the uh, project fi project file or the project folder itself you will be doing that you will be naming everything based on the company standards and as requested to you and then handing it over to the design or the architecture team so this is a more major responsibility that you will be taking care of so next is you will also be responsible for uh, bim collaboration on bim 360 so what you will be doing is basically a project for example it's been created and it's there on your server and uh, there are three or four files linked to it like structure and uh, your outer shell or the envelope file so these files will be linked to a central file and you will be responsible to upload these files to bim 360 cloud so by this what will happen is you will be going on the autodesk 360 and then naming the file projects and all those things adding member you will be syncing all the files to the cloud and you will be giving access so this is another major responsibility that you will be taking care of like not all of the people will have the access to these uh, bim 360 files only the requested people will be doing that. And other responsibility is if you have consultant like electrical, mechanical and um, general contractor. So you will be making those companies and giving those, uh, making those companies on Autodesk 360, not actually making those companies, but you will be doing that. You will be making those companies making the members whatever members were requested by that company and then giving them access to your project so you will be giving them limited access so that they can just view the file and build on it they can't edit your architecture file so they will be just taking the model as a reference for them and then building on it so that's how uh, the online cl cloud platform works Next responsibility is again, I feel it's a basic one, but it's very important. Uh, it's problem solving. So you will be solving your architecture teams or your design teams problem. Uh, we all have used Revit for now. Like if you are watching this video, I assume that you have uh, used Revit. So there are sometimes like even the smallest error can cause a chain of reaction and things won't go well. So sometimes the problem can be as basic as the wall tag not working but it can be as big as your file getting corrupted or you losing a lot of data 
so you should know how to recover those files you should know uh, if your file is not syncing into cloud what can be the problem and how you can manage that so these are the things that are very basic if you know them but if you don't know them they are very difficult to do so this is very important if you want you can go ahead online and search about these topics that i have spoken about and guys if you wa have watched this video till now go ahead hit the like and subscribe to my channel because i need your support i do have like two points more and we will end this video after that next is innovation so basically you will be integrating a new software basically just imagine a new software came up and uh, your team wants to experience that software or want their workflow to be eased out so you will be suggesting upgrades you will be suggesting like okay fine we can use this software this will help us in this way so you will be kind of um, the pioneer over here to bring up new uh, technology new software to the team so that their workflow is eased out fifth one is this thing is something that i am not doing right now here that is class detection so class detection is something in which you are detecting if your mechanical model or electrical or plumbing model is clashing with your structural model or your architectural model so most of the time what happens is uh, i just imagine i have constructed ducts and um, there is an architecture team who has constructed the beams and all the other factors somehow they have missed the beam or something and your duct is going through the beam or through the slab and we want to check that where all the clashes are happening before we produce the final drawings so this is what clash detection is so you will be doing that as well depending on your company you will be doing it so basically these are all your responsibility and uh, you will have to take care of it you will probably have a team or a bim manager over you which will be very helpful if you have one uh, if you are a fresher in bim you will need one manager you can't be a manager so that is one point that you have to keep in mind no matter what your experience is if you haven't worked as bim coordinator you will uh, start from the ground zero so that is something that you should be aware of next is i am suggesting these are the courses on linkedin that you should go and check them out these courses will help you grow help you um, understand bim more in a more better way and these are specific courses and specific uh, youtube videos that i want you guys to check out and guys if you like this video go ahead hit a like and subscribe to my channel hope to see you soon take care of yourself bye bye